Hey guys, what's up? I just saw the YouTube video. Um, the former Miss USA, Susie Castillo, was molested uh, during the TSA pat-downs. And um, I just wanted to commend her for making a statement against the TSA. I think that's uh, very noble of her, and I'm really glad that she's uh, standing up in this way. Um, and what's disheartening to me is the comments and the negativity in response to her video. Um, there's a lot of people saying that she's overreacting. There's a lot of people saying that she's a drama queen, and she's not. <laughs> um, it, the fact that that people would think that that someone touching your vagina in order for you to fly on a plane is normal. Um, I mean, these people have lost their humanity because um, that's not normal. And and if you think that the government is supposed to um, provide perfect security, then there is no end to that. Um, you know, we we would end up having um, body scans at the mall, uh, just in order to go shopping at the mall. There's, you know, a camera on every street corner, a camera in every house because someone might commit a crime in their home. Um, it, 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 body scans in order to get on a bus, a, a rectal exam in order to go to the mall because you might have a bomb up your anus. I mean, it's just, it's it's insane. And, you know, when it gets to that point, um, uh, these people who are criticizing this woman for sticking up for her rights, um, they will have no one to blame but themselves. And honestly, um, they'll probably be too dumb to even notice. I I'm not kidding. Um, you know, it's just the old motto, um, whoever would give up um, essential liberty um, for temporary security, they don't deserve either one of those things, and they'll lose both of those things. Um, and um, I, I would, I would also just like to get into the TSA. Um, um, a good agent of social change is shunning. Um, I mean, I really commend her for, for um, uh, putting in the complaint. And I commend her for, you know, making an official statement against the TSA. I think that's awesome. Um, but, but uh, I mean, I travel a lot as well. I, I fly a whole lot. And um, thank goodness the last two times that I've flown, I haven't had to uh, do the pat-down or the body scanner. And, and I think it's because it's becoming so unpopular that a lot of airlines don't want to deal with it anymore, which is great. That's awesome. Um, but also, I mean, we should be shunning these people. Like, if a TSA agent smiles at me, I don't smile back. And, and you may say that that's rude, but no. No, these people, on a daily basis, habitually invade people's rights. And you know, these people might not... The general public, I think most people are, are against these enhanced uh, security measures. But, but, I mean, even if people don't realize that their rights are being violated. I mean, you have, what kind of person would take that job? I mean, you, you, during the body scans, um, it, it basically makes your clothes see-through and you can see a naked image of, of people. So you're looking at naked images of people all day long. Um, and then you are touching people's private parts against their will. Um, it, it, I mean, if, if you are okay having someone touch your privates in order to fly on a plane, then there's there's nothing that you will not accept. When they want to probe your anus in order for you to go into a mall, you will accept that. I mean, if you do not draw the line there, then I don't see where you would draw the line. I mean, I don't want to live in a society where there's a camel on every corner. I don't want to live in a Big Brother police state. I don't I don't want to live in an Orwellian nightmare. I, I don't want to live, uh, you know, where, where I have to get searched just to go, go to the mall, where, where there's a video camera in my home. Um, I, I would rather die in some terrorist attack, which, I mean, you're, you're, you're so much more likely to die of so many other things than a terrorist attack. Uh, I'd, rather, I'd rather 
die from some random unforeseen event, then, then, uh, you know, live in, in constant fear of my government, then live in a totalitarian uh, government, uh, then to live in a police state. I mean, I truly believe, give me liberty or give me death. I mean, I'd rather have liberty and live in freedom than, than live in this Orwellian nightmare. Um, so, so like I said, I, I, I truly commend um, Miss, U Miss USA, uh, the former Miss USA, Susie Castillo, for standing up for her rights and, uh, you know, for the people who, who, you know, don't even appreciate what she's doing. Um, uh, I, I think it's, it's awesome. And um, I encourage everyone to go over there and like the video, share the video. Um, uh, she needs to get really good really good props for that. So, alright, uh, that's my spiel. Um, you guys have a good night. Bye.